What's up, everybody? Jason here for JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. 2023 Top Series 1 Baseball Jumbo just sold out. Six box case break. Two random teams each, number five. And again, guys, 15 total spots. Everybody gets two random teams in the MLB. Remember, all cards ship, all teams in. Look for one autograph, one relic, one manufactured relic, ten inserts, and two silver packs per box, guys. So here's the dice roller. Here's the customer name. So we doubled up your names from Marcus down to Tristan. So you guys have two spots there. There's the teams. Let's click dice roll. Let's roll it. Five and a six, 11 times. Good luck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven times. Marcus down to Tristan. All right, 11 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven times, eleven times. Texas Rangers out of the Detroit Tigers. All right, so Marcus with the Rangers, David with the Royals, Justin with the White Sox, Ben with the Cubs, David with the Twins, Kev with the Giants, Chris with the Angels, Will with the Nationals, Justin with the Marlins, Eric with the Yankees, Devin with the Blue Jays, Sean with the Mariners, Tristan with the Red Sox, Mark with the Dodgers, Andy with the Rockies, Kev with the Rays, Carter with the Mets, Rick Thomas with the Phillies, Sean with the Brewers, Crystal with the Guardians, Marcus with the Cardinals, Andy with the Padres, or Andy with the Astros, Will with the Padres, Ben with the Reds, Devin with the A's, Mark. With the Diamondbacks, Carter with the Orioles, and then Tristan with the Braves, Pirates, and Tigers. Good question, Tristan. You know, I, <laughs> I've only ever really wanted to work in sports. That's, that's my it's my passion. It's my love, right? I love sports. So if I didn't work in this, I don't even know what I'd be doing, man. <laughs> you know, I kind of skipped out on the whole college experience. Because uh, I really wanted to be in this hobby after high school. Didn't really, didn't really want to do the college experience, actually. Um, so, I don't know. I'd probably be doing a warehouse job or something. <laughs> That's what I did, like, uh, my senior year a little bit. And then at the end of senior year, I, I was I was working with my brother at his place. He, it was all, his job was also, like, a sports place called Sports Pins. They used to make pins, trophies, you know, medals for, like, you know, MLS, CONCACAF, uh, AYSO, you know, you name it, any, any sports league. So, it's funny. The jobs I've always ever had had to do with some kind of sport. But yeah, it was like a warehouse job. I was making medals, trophies, stuff like that. But I don't even know, man, honestly. <laughs> I don't want to imagine that. But yeah, I just I got heavily invested in the hobby like in 2011 after high school and I was just flipping cards, setting up at shows uh, for a while until I started working here in 2015. I love food too, Tristan, as you can see. 
I just, I would never, I was just never, like, a, a great cook. Like, definitely a good helper, though. <laughs> My wife is the, the cook. But, um, I don't really know, man. I mean, I'd probably something like that. I mean, I'd probably, I mean, I have, a, I have somewhat of a salesman skill, I guess, now with this job, right? So, I don't know, maybe try something like that, but, but yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying the ride. Yeah, this is as closest to a dream job that I probably would ever imagine. I get to work with sports, get to talk sports. Obviously, I love the hobby already, and I loved it as a kid. So, yeah, I mean, definitely. I What I really wanted to do at one point, obviously, like everybody else, right, have, like, a dream job is be, like, an Eagles reporter, right? Be, like, you know, South Palantonio or something like that, you know, just cover the Eagles, cover Philly full-time, just some big Eagles fan. But, obviously, that requires a lot of... Uh, a lot of time, you know, journalism, which I never factored into that, that I had to be probably writing a shit ton. I just thought it'd be cool to just interview players and coaches and, you know, that'd be it. <laughs> so I, I probably didn't think that one fully, but definitely the closest to a dream job for sure. All right, here we go, guys. So again, I actually haven't ripped too much. Too much of this. Obviously, you know, there's a handful of key rookies like Adley, Riley Green, Nolan Gorman, Michael Harris, Gunnar Henderson. Obviously, this is a very long time consuming break, so obviously I'm going to try to catch all those players, sleeve them up now. But if I miss any, do not worry, of course. The shipping team knows that we are sleeving and top loading those key rookies and players, so everything ships anyways, but so like I said, don't worry. Um. Well, I'm a big Miles Sanders guy, uh, but obviously Hurts has grown on me, you know, since last season. But, I mean, my favorite player up until then was Miles Sanders. I don't know if he'll be back, honestly. I mean, I want him to be back. I know he wants to be back, but I feel like, you know, obviously he has a big payday coming. And I'm sure some teams will throw him a lot more money than the Eagles will. But uh, definitely Hurts is up there. I love Jason Kelsey, too. I've always loved him, you know. I don't know if he's going to come back, though, man. I mean, my gut feeling says he will. Because I think he knows how close the Eagles came. And and uh, obviously, they have an opportunity to potentially bring back the, the majority of their key players that are free agents and make another run. But at the same time, you know, he's been contemplating retirement for so long. I mean, at some point, he's, he's just going to obviously just say, hey, man, it's time. But my gut feeling is Jason Kelsey will be back for one more season. They play the, the Chiefs next year in Kansas City, I think, or at home. Either one. I don't remember which one it was. And I'm sure he would have love another opportunity to play against his brother. But yeah, no, a lot of people, you know, it's so funny. Like, Jerry Jones and Steven Jones, you know, Cowboys owner and GM, is, was over here trying to compare the Eagles to, like, the Rams and all these other teams where they're, they're all in. But are they really all in? I don't know how really all in. They're going to have like probably $30, $40 million in cap space. You got two first round picks. You know, they'll be able to resign a lot of those key free agents. I mean, we didn't like throw away all of our future draft picks like the Rams did. You know? So I think that was kind of funny. I wasn't really devastated, Jose, at all. I'm not going to lie. I was having a great time with my family and friends, and it was just such a close, good game. I kind of predicted it once, you know, the Chiefs got into that field goal range and time was pretty much going to start running out. I wasn't really devastated at all, man, honestly. I've, I've, I've had too many broken hard times with the Eagles in the early 2000s, like five straight years of heartbreak, so I'm kind of immune to that a little bit. Uh, all I know is that Hurts balled out that game, and I was so happy that he came out to play. 
And uh, I'm sure you earned a lot of people's respect after that Super Bowl performance. There's Rutschman. Pick a game for a shot to win, Adley Rutschman. That's pretty cool. We have Patrick Wisdom. Numbered. Yeah, the NFC East is going to be pretty competitive again, man, which I love it. I, I'd rather have the NFC East be competitive than it, it be like a crappy NFC least, you know? It's definitely going to be fun. Yeah, I'm curious to see how the offseason goes. I, Eagles have a lot of key free agents. I think a lot of them they will bring back, you know, and a couple of them will probably walk, which is fine, you know, but you got two first-rounders to kind of replace... Uh, Sunny Gray Auto to replace potentially some pretty big key players, right? So if Nolan Gorman. So if you lose out on a on let's say like a Bradbury, right? He wants to get paid. I think you go go draft the Oregon cornerback. You know, top ten. If you lose like some D line, go get a D lineman and later in the draft. You know, Eagles do have a lot of depth though, so I'm not too worried. Yeah, I mean, there's a good chance, man. I think Houston, if they get the opportunity to, to draft uh, Bryce Young, they definitely should because he is definitely ready to play. He's he's going to be special, man. He's, he's going to be really good. Two punch to two ninety nine. Robbie Ray, Luis Castillo, Gunnar Henderson. Muto into 2023. Santiago Espinal. Relic there with Nolan Gorman for the St. Louis Cardinals. Went to Marcus. J.J. Blade, eh? Ezekiel Duran. And a 72 black border, Ryan uh, Helsley. Rafael Devers. 
City Connect. Yeah, but Montas got injured though, right? That's obviously unfortunate. JJ Blade. Eh? Alright, let's go with the next box. So I'm gonna try to speed up just a little bit, guys. Like I said, if I do miss any of those top rookies that we're sleeving up, don't worry, of course. Like I said, when they get sorted out. It will be sleeved and top loaded, so do not worry. But I don't wanna I don't wanna be longer than over an hour doing this. I think Joe did about an hour, so gotta kinda keep it at the same pace. But we'll stop of course for all the numbered cards, short prints, autographs, relics, medallions. I know, let's see if that pays off for them, man. They, they signed a lot of big time big time players. It's a lot of money. But it's proven in the past, sometimes you gotta spend money to win. But most of the time it doesn't always work in your favor. I actually won't be here next Saturday. So you'll probably see Chris covering me. Uh, I'm going to head out to Arizona. Visit my in-laws, but also hit up some Dodgers spring training practice and, and a little spring uh, training game. I think they play the Cubs on Sunday. This should be fun. Alright, here we go. It's just backwards. There's no one going on. Twenty twenty three, Nolan or not Nolan Aaron Nola, Tom Glavin autograph for the Braves. Was the electric Tristan with the Atlanta Braves actually? There you go. To 
four ninety nine Herrera Cardinals. Michael Harris, that's a cool one right there. That's a gold foil. And then to 199, Blue Jays. Jorge Mateo. And we got a relic there of Kyle Schwarber. D Mancho. Joe Musgrove. Judge, Michael Harris there, rookie, Liberator, and Stowers. Just just one. This is right there. Man, the Kings are just toying with the Ducks right now. <laughs> Thank you. 
Alright, here we go, guys. It's my cousin right there, guys. Franchi Cordero. Got a little canvas there, Blue Jays. Watchman. Cuba Ruiz. Gregory Soto. Twenty twenty three Salvador Perez and Jeter Downs rookie autograph there for the Red Sox going to Tristan. Out of four ninety nine Ryan Helsley. Brian Lowe and Tristan McKenzie. Out of 199 right there, that's your eyes, Judge, and Bogart. So that'll be actually a randomizer. Twins, David, Judge, Yankees, Rick Thomas, and then Bogart's Red Sox, Tristan. And manufactured patch card of Pete Alonso for the Yank uh, for the Mets. Carter. Out of ninety nine, Ethan Small.
All right, let's keep it going, guys. Next one. Here we go. Sawinski to twenty twenty three. Seventy six, Kyle Gibson. Twenty twenty three Josh Naylor and James Altman for the Dodgers rookie auto. Dodgers, that's Mark. To four ninety nine, Manny Margot. Uh, 
And a relic, Mark McGuire. He's going to Devin. Kyle Ripken Jr. And then a Corbin Burns. City Connect. Brewers going to Sean Kelly. Rise. Judge Michael Harris, Laborator Stowers. Velasquez, Correa, Rolander, Jess Chisholm. Two more boxes, guys. Ken Griffey Jr. Next one. Garrett Cole to two ninety
And a 2023, David Villar. Autograph of Travis Swaggerty and then Brian Bello numbered. Pirates, Tristan. Red Sox also Tristan. Marcelo Suna. Twenty twenty three, Corey Lee. And Benya Relic. Out of 50 pink, Tailscar Hernandez. And Eloy Jimenez, City Connect Relic. Stack here. Bryson Stott. Up a little Julio. Alrighty, guys, down to the final box.
Four ninety nine, Jaron Duran. Freddie Freeman to twenty twenty three. Out of 299, Christian Vasquez. And our last autograph is going to be Graham Ashcraft. Donnie Baseball. And Nolan Arenado. The 2023 CJ Chrome. And then welcome to the club, thirty thirty. City Connect, Jazz Chisel, Mystery Blank, And Marcel Asuna. Alright, let's do the last two silver packs here, guys, and then we'll do that randomizer. DJ Hall, Randy Johnson, uh, Tyler Freeman, and Vladdy.
Hoskins, Bryce Harper, Ronald Acuna, and Juan Soto. And let me double check these. I don't feel like we didn't get no numbered cards at all. I have them right here. This, this series is kind of hard to tell, but... Seems like we just kind of had a bad batch of silver packs, honestly. I don't see no numbered cards. No, no numbered cards, unfortunately. Damn. All right, then, guys. This was a little bit of a kind of case, honestly. But I mean, hey, it's series one, guys. So we got a top loader for that right now, but there was your hits right there from each box. Swaggerty autograph, Ahmed Auto, Jeter Downs Ricky Auto. We got a Tom Glavin, Sunny Gray. And we did have one of these to be randomized between these three teams here. So let's quickly do that. Get a dice roll, let's get a list. So then it's Twins, Yankees, Red Sox. One to five, six times, good luck. One, two, three, four, five, six. Going to the Twins, Minnesota Twins with that one. That is David. Alright guys, appreciate you guys, jazbeescasebreaks.com.